Oh, hello there. I'm Ben Gilbert from Business Insider, and today I'll be playing a terrifying Resident Evil video game. It's a horror survival game. It's Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It's a brand new video game. It's out yesterday, I believe, on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, if you'd noticed, right next to me, I've got this virtual reality headset, and as I move it around, you can see that the image is kind of moving around. I'm going to put it on my head in just a second. But I wanted to introduce you a little bit to the game. It's uh, a lot different than the last few Resident Evil games. Last few uh, notably being Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 5. These were pretty action-heavy games, third-person shooters. Uh, this is not that. It's a first-person game. It's uh, much more about survival. It's much more about horror. Uh, I am going to be playing it in VR. I might scream. I might swear. There is a lot of swearing in the game. Beware of all of those things. There might be vulgar imagery. If you are sitting next to a child, maybe don't watch this video. If you're sitting in an office where your boss is going to yell at you for watching saying vulgar, also maybe don't watch this. Uh, otherwise, all of those caveats aside, if you are down to get scared and or have uh, profanity yelled while, you are, while somebody is playing a video game that you are watching, this is the video for you. Um, I'm going to jump in. We're about an hour and a half into the game or so. Uh, there will almost certainly be spoilers here. If you're looking to have nothing spoiled in this game, beware of that. Uh, there's already been some spoilers that I didn't know about, and I knew a decent amount about this game before I started playing. Um, the basic premise is that I am in a house. I am playing as a character named Ethan. If you hear him breathing uh, kind of sporadically right now, it's because he just had his hand uh, chopped off by a chainsaw, um, and he seems to be surviving it well enough. So uh, I'm going to have one earphone in because I kind of need to hear what's going on in the game. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop them for us on Facebook. My man David is over here off screen. He'll be asking me questions. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, I, I can try to, I'll probably reprise some of this information occasionally for new viewers. So anyway, with, for, without further ado, I'm going to put this silly VR headset on and we're going to play Resident Evil 7 Biohazard on the PlayStation 4 using VR. Uh, notably, the entire game can be played using VR. This is the same experience you would have without a VR headset. There are not two different experiences. It's just one has a VR headset on, the other is playing it on a television. So, anyway, I'm gonna put this on now. Woo! All right. I am ratcheted in. I've got one headset in, one headphone in. I can hear Ethan's labored breathing. Uh, just for some setup here, I am... Uh, in what seems to be like a little bit of a, like a second floor landing area. I came in through here. I'm in this very old, uh, messed up looking house in Louisiana. I came looking for my girlfriend, Mia. I have sort of found her. Uh, maybe we'll encounter her again when I get here at some point. Anyway, I'm supposed to go to this attic. Uh, it looks kind of foreboding, just like literally everything in this game. And uh, this is supposedly where I escape. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna go up here with my bloody stump though and we're gonna see what happens. Um, I've been warned that it gets a lot more vulgar after where I am. I have no idea. I have no idea what to expect. I can tell you the game is auto-saving though right now, which usually is a sign in, in video games that something is about to happen that might uh, kill me because then I could just restart over, you know? Anyway, here we are. Uh, if I'm going slowly, it's because I'm terrified, by the way. So you can see that there is a room I'm in. I could swear that wasn't there when I walked in. I have no idea. But I'm going to close this door behind me because I'm super freaked out. I'm going to kind of strafe along this wall while looking at that because that terrifies me. Great handgun ammo and a handgun. All good things. Let's grab that. Please grab the handgun. Okay, fine. L2 to aim, R2 to attack. Fantastic, just like every video game. Uh, notably, Resident Evil 7, first person, not normal for the Resident Evil series. Uh, since the first game, uh, they've always been third person games, which means that the camera's kind of behind you. In this game, you are the main character. Your whole perspective is through that of the main character. Uh, you can see this is me aiming. I can look around to uh, control where I'm going to aim. I'm holding L2 to make that uh, crosshair turn into a dot, uh, or a reticle if you want to use correct terminology. I'm going to get up on this and look at it. It looks super creepy. Surprise. 
Um, other weapons I have, I have a hatchet. You can see that I've got this uh, inventory that's in front of me. Um, so if I press left on the D-pad, my hatchet comes up. Hatchet! Oops, I missed. Let's go ahead and knock that over. Not a fan of that mannequin. See if I can break these boxes. Nothing's in them. Fantastic. I can break stuff. Let's see if there's anything else to break over here. Nope. Nope. Swinging right through that, huh? All right. What about these in the corner? Can I do anything with you? Nope. Okay, well, I guess I'm going forward. I mean, a lot of this game so far has made me being like reticent about moving forward because I don't want to see what's next. Uh, but I'm also not trying to play up the horror too much. Let's not be ridiculous. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the gun because they just gave me a gun, so that tells me I'm probably going to want to use a gun. All right, everything seems fine so far. Again, remember, my left hand has been chopped off and I'm profusely bleeding out of it. So uh, while I'm ca calmly walking through this house, that is definitely a thing that's happening. Uh, and here we go. Um, nobody's in here, it looks like, except these mannequins. And a ladder. And more, sh more ammo. That's always a bad sign. And there's a door over there, it looks like. So I'm going to grab that ammo. I'm going to... You know, if it was me, I would just lie down in this bed. Great, the door closed behind me. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and hatchet these guys again, because I don't really like them standing there and creeping me out. Let's see if I can exit through this door. Oh, I can. So somebody magically closed this door behind me and then disappeared. That's cool. Uh, there might also be some sort of a fancy smart lock on this house. Who knows? All right, great. Let's break open these boxes, make sure there's nothing in them. I am extremely hopeful I'll open one and I'll be first aid. I am wrong. All right. There's a chair up there. Seems like a logical place to put one. There's stairs to a door that... You know, there's a door up there. All right. Nope, not trying to hit that. Still not trying to hit that. There we go. All right. Looks like some sort of a, uh, it's a door as well. Yeah, it's another door. All right, great. Let's keep going. Um, in case it wasn't clear, not a huge fan of horror things. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? This doesn't seem like a trap at all. All right, I'm going in here first. F it. Switch back to the gun, just in case. Go ahead and close that door. Oh, great, more ammo. I'll take it. I now have 32 bullets for my gun. Uh, and... All right. Okay. All right. Going to leave the room. Don't know what to do about that. Here we go. All right. Pretty much everything happening in this game. All right. Let's just go back down the stairs up and shoot me in the head. So this is my wife. Oh god! Oh no! Move. I have no you don't. It. You can chill on that. And she's cutting through the door. In the face. In the face. All right, I'm running. And she's chainsawing through that door too. I'm gonna go ahead and keep running. OK, 
Okay. Oh god, did I put my gun away? No, no! Run! No, no! No, no! Oh, right! She is taking it to me. And I'm looking right in her face as she does it. Pretty brutal. She's continuing to happen. All right, there we go. And I think I died. I'm gonna take a wild guess that I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, man. So that's the first time I've died in this game so far, and it was at the hands of my crazy sort of wife, girlfriend, uh, who has a chainsaw. Great. Chainsaws have long been a staple of the Resident Evil franchise, uh, which seems ridiculous to explain, but here we are. Uh, they were, you know, terrible in uh, Mia's Dangerous when she goes berserk, do whatever, takes a stopper. Great. Uh, there was uh, specifically an enemy in Resident Evil 4, one of the more famous Resident Evil games, that had a chainsaw. He was really tough to kill. Uh, I think there was a collector's edition of that game, actually, that came with a chainsaw, which seems a little ridiculous, but is true. Uh, okay, so here we are, restarting where I, uh, need to get a gun and all this stuff. Also, just gonna go ahead and pause the game for a second. Take this off. Because this headset has gotten mighty warm in the time that I've been playing, and the lenses are fogging up. As you might imagine, playing a horror game, uh, your lenses are probably gonna fog up a few times. So here we are, uh, cleaning them off. Please excuse me for a moment while I take care of this. All right, do we have any questions, by the way, David? People are asking how much it is. The game is $59.99. The uh, headset. The headset. The PlayStation VR headset costs $400. Uh, it does not come with the camera that you need to power it. Uh, we have one of those as well. Um, so all in, you're spending at least $460 for the headset and the camera without any games. Um, I believe it comes with a demo disc. Otherwise, there's a $500 bundle where you can buy it with a, a game as well. So, anyway, I'm going to pick up a gun again, and I'm going to fight Mia again. Yeah, I would say yes, it is scary. Um, at least so far, I've been sufficiently scared. Um, but it's, honestly, it traffic some jump scares, I think, a little bit more than in, uh, in, uh, I don't know, like psychological horror or any of that. There's some of that where like, you know, you're in a creepy house, whatever else, right? But for the most part, yeah, I mean, it feels like a uh, jump scary kind of game than anything else. Um, there's certainly a sense of like foreboding, like walking around, it seems real creepy. Um, but yeah, I would say yes, it's scary. All right, here we go. Back into this room. I mean, they clearly set up these mannequins to make you think that, like, you're walking into a room and there's a person, oh god, uh, when in fact it's, you know, mannequins. I should probably have knocked down those mannequins, actually. <laughs> so notably, the doors keep closing behind me, which I really don't appreciate. And nobody is doing that, like, that's just happening. I don't know why that is. That has not been the case for the rest of the game so far. Um, the whole game so far that I've played, by the way, I've been in this, uh... Oh, these are supposed to separate me from Mia so I can get away from her. I'm an idiot. All right. Uh, the whole game so far has taken place in this house, though, so it, it's possible there'll be other environments that'll be, you know, scarier or whatever else. We'll find out. These televisions, though, clearly not working anymore. All right, here we go. Once again, fighting Mia. All right. Uh, last time I saw Mia, she had a uh, hatchet in her. Oh man, really? That was horrible. I am responsible. Nah, chill. Don't hit me. All right. All right. So you'll notice that I'm running around here, trying to get away. What? Yeah, she's taking him. I Stop it. Oh God. Yes. 
Oh, the stairs are up. Great. Oh, man. All right. All right. He's got me. All right. Here we go. Pouring first aid on myself, which seems to do nothing. Uh, so it's not clear what the beef is with Mia. She's clearly got some problems. Uh, she disappeared three years ago, and you uh, find her in this house. Uh, she actually sends you a voicemail or some such. Okay. Keep running. Oh, so is she. All right. Okay, all right. Uh, Ethan, the guy in this house, had many opportunities to leave and did not, by the way, I should point out. Uh, repeatedly... Am I supposed to hide from her? Oh god, where is she coming from? Oh, dip! Alright. That was awful. Yeah, definitely put that against your stump. She is almost certainly going to get up again. Take the chainsaw, dude! Take the chainsaw! I can't pick up the chainsaw. Um, all right. All right. Okay. Well, that definitely just happened. Um, I have defeated her before, I should note. Oh, God. Okay. All right! Okay, Ethan having a bad day. <sighs> All right, so uh, the deal with this house supposedly is that there's this family, that guy, it's the first time I've seen that guy uh, who just kicked me in the face. Um, game data has not finished installing. Please wait until install finishes. Now returning to main menu. Something happened? Oh no. I think the game broke. What happened? Okay. We're going to find out what just happened. Uh, I don't know if the game broke or what, but there's seriously, there's clearly an issue. Uh, it dumped me back to the main menu, and now I am looking at a loading screen. So let's wait a second and see what happens. Uh, notably, instead of uh, in previous games, in previous Resident Evil games, you usually saved on a typewriter. Uh, that's kind of changed over time. Uh, in this game, you save on a cassette player. So uh, technology has been vastly updated uh, from the previous games, clearly. I don't know what's going on here. This load time is really taking forever. Um, seemingly getting there. All right, here we go. Okay. Yeah, it dropped me right where I just, just after Mia uh, and I got into a, you know, a marital fight. All right, here we go. We know what's going to happen this time. Uh, Walter White from Breaking Bad is going to punch me in the face. Or, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Here we go. Welcome to the family, son. Welcome to the family, son. So it seems clear that that guy uh, is Mia's father, it seems. She called him daddy before. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with it. And it broke again. Now we're turning to the main menu. This is really unfortunate. We might have to dump out of here and uh, see what's going on. It seems like the game hasn't finished downloading, but that's not really possible as far as I know. Uh, yeah. All right, so that's the beginning of Resident Evil 7, uh, a brand new game on the PlayStation 4. Uh, we've been playing it here in VR. Uh, it's very likely we'll be playing more Resident Evil 7 later this week uh, because the game has not finished downloading apparently on this PlayStation 4, I'm sorry to say. Um, so, that said, that has been a very early part of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, brand new game on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC. Um, do we have any questions, actually, before I sign off? I don't want to just dump out of this uh, without answering anybody. 
It is scary, yes. Uh, so I can confirm it's definitely a scary game. Uh, a lot of the reviews are very positive. People have been calling it like Return to the Series Roots in that it's like a more survival-y horror game. Uh, I think that the fight I just had is pretty representative of that actually in that like you're not supposed to just stand and fight. You're supposed to kind of like try your best and often run. Uh, I did a lot of that. I lost multiple times, I think, m multiple times. Uh, and it's clear that the enemies that you're fighting are much more powerful than you are. Um, yeah, so so be it. Uh, we will be playing more Resident Evil 7, though. I would say probably tomorrow or later this week. So tune back in for more. There will be more spoilers. There will be more uh, terrifying ex-girlfriends coming after you with chainsaws, presumably. There will be more getting punched in the face suddenly. Uh, that has been an, an unexpectedly short Facebook live stream of Resident Evil 7. I promise there will be more, though. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you uh, next few days, hopefully. So thanks very much.